Hey guys, it's Tina here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to share with you nine of my favorite hair hacks. This hair hack video was brought to you by L'Oreal Paris Colorista. On days where I wake up late and I don't have a lot of time to style my hair, I like to do this braided headband hairstyle. It looks good and is super quick and easy to do. First, I'll braid a small section of hair behind my ear. Then I'll fatten up the braid by gently pulling it apart. This is a great hack to make braids look fuller, especially if you don't have a lot of hair. I'll repeat this on the other side. Next, I'll bring one braid up over my head and pin it securely to create the headband. I'll do the same with the other braid, this time hiding the bobby pin underneath the first braid. Finally, I'll pin my fringe back away from my face. As most of you know, I love changing up my hair color, but that can sometimes mean long hours at the hairdressers. That's why I like using the L'Oreal Colorista One Day Sprays. These babies add color to my hair instantly, and best of all, they wash out after just one shampoo. Simply shake and spray to instantly add color to your hair. You can spray them in small sections of your hair to create a look like this. Or you can create an ombre look by spraying your ends. Just remember to use an old towel to protect your clothing. Here's a quick hack that will instantly add volume to flat hair. All you need to do is change up your part. Use a rat towel comb to create a zigzag part and it'll instantly give your hair more volume. Another way to add volume to your roots is to blow dry your hair in the opposite direction. This will lift up your roots, giving you extra volume and oomph. When it comes to adding volume in your fringe, it can be a little bit tricky. What I like to do is section my fringe and backcomb the roots a little bit. Then I'll smooth out the top and bottom layer. Next, I'll hold my fringe into place using a single prong clip and then spray hairspray on top. This will help my fringe hold the volume as the hairspray dries. Next, I'll remove the clip and style my bangs. If flyaways and frizzy hair annoys you, here's a quick way to tame them. I recommend using wax over hairspray. I bought this one from Japan and it comes in a stick form. I just run it over my baby hairs and it smooths them out instantly. When it comes to hair tools, hair straighteners are super versatile. Not only can you use it to straighten your hair, but you can also use it to create curls. The problem is not everyone is great at curling with a straightener. An easy way to create a curl is to grab a small section of hair and wrap it around two fingers. This will create a loop and you can use your straightener to clamp the hair and distribute the heat evenly. Once you let the hair go, it will create a soft curl. Don't be afraid to brush out your curls. It will turn them into Hollywood effortless waves. If you decide you don't want waves, don't worry, you can twirl your hair back to its original curl. If you want shorter hair without cutting it, try creating a faux bob. Divide your hair into three sections and tie them into three loose ponytails. Next, roll the end of one pony up and tuck it under. Secure the hair using bobby pins. Repeat this step with the other two sections. Once it's all pinned up, smooth the top layer of hair out and hold into place with some hairspray. This is a great look to try without cutting your lovely long locks. That's it to this hair hack video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Make sure you check out my other videos if you haven't already. 
If you're wondering what I have in my hand, I did a henna video recently, so make sure you check that out. Also, please subscribe to my channel and help me get to 2 million subscribers by the end of this year. If you have any other cool hair hacks that you want to share, make sure you comment and let me know below. I'll speak to you guys next time. Bye.